What's up everybody, Ricky Caruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna go through my numbers for you. I'm gonna go through my earnings as a real estate agent, actual numbers behind the scenes. So why would I do that? Because I want you to know what is possible in this business. Okay, I want you to know that you can achieve those really enormous goals that you have for yourself. Okay, if you put the work in, if you have the best intentions and you're patient, okay, and you just continue trying to help people and build that brand, right? Personal brand is key. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. Before I get into my numbers, if you haven't signed up for my completely free real estate coaching program, that's at zero to diamond.com. Link is in the description. There's a 90 day action plan online course. There's live training twice a month and you get emails from me daily and you're really deeply connected with me. I answer all DMs on Instagram, emails, any questions that you have, just reach out. Okay, so let's look at my numbers so far this year. Okay, right now it's June 27th, 2019 and I'm sitting on $512,428.45 in gross commissions earned. So here's a check stub right here. You'll see the gross commissions right there, 512, 428.45. Um, I give 1% of all my commissions for as long as I can remember to Children's Miracle Network. So that comes out to a little over 5,000. Also, I pay my REMAX fee, which is 5%. Okay, so that's about 25,000. All right, and so my net figure after that 5% and the Children's Miracle Network donation brings me down to $481,018.72 so far this year. So I'm looking at about the same numbers as last year. Last year, I grossed $1,012,000. Okay, so this year it's almost halfway through the year and I'm at $512,000. So I'm right there in line with where I was last year. The year before, okay, I did $1,060,000. Okay, so I'm right there around a little above a million dollars a year for the last two years and going on third year this year. So let's break down this $512,000 that I've made so far this year. Okay, so I estimate that I have about 25,000 in marketing, another 25,000 for my assistant, and then the 25,000 for the 5% Remax fee, and another 5,000 for the Children's Miracle Network donation. That brings my net figure to about $420,000 so far this year. Now, out of that 420,000, I put 30% back for taxes. So that's gonna be 126,000 that I've put back in a separate account just to pay taxes with. So that brings my net, net, net figure down to $294,000 halfway through the year in my earnings as a real estate agent. So out of the 294,000 after living and all the other expenses, let's say I end up with $250,000 to save and invest. Sounds incredible, right? I know everybody wants to be at a million dollars a year, save a half a million dollars um, to put into whatever they want, stocks, buy real estate, whatever they wanna invest in. I think the problem is, is that you're basing your happiness on this million dollars a year. And I'll tell you right now, when you get there, it's not what you think it is, okay? It's just another day, right? And then tomorrow you start back over at zero. We have to continue on this journey of trying to figure out where our next deal is coming from. Every day when I wake up, I'm thinking, where is my next deal coming from? Who can I help? Please don't base your happiness on the fact that you wanna make a million dollars a year and only making that million dollars in a year is what's gonna make you happy. Be happy with the process. Be happy that you put as much effort as you could possibly put into making that million dollars, right? And that you know you're gonna make it based on the effort you're putting in today. Don't let this depress you that you're not making a million dollars yet. Don't let it hold you back. Don't let it hold you down. Okay, here's the reality of it. You make a million dollars, okay, and based on the numbers I shared with you today, you have a half a million dollars to save and invest. Okay, now, you made a million dollars, you have a half a million dollars left over. Okay, now what are we gonna do? Well, we don't wanna spend it because we want that to be our net worth. Okay, we wanna add that to our net worth. So we have to invest it. So now we invest it, now we can't touch it because now we have to let that investment grow. 
Okay, so now we're right back to being broke. That's why I say we start over at zero every day because we're gonna take what's left over, we're gonna invest it for the future. Okay, we're gonna put it there, we're not gonna touch it. So we're right back at zero. Yes, we have a nest egg. Yes, we're building wealth. Yes, well, our net worth is going up. However, our day-to-day -day life doesn't really change that much. And this is something I learned in the crash when I lost everything. I had Hummers and Cadillacs, I had two houses, I had so many material things that I didn't need, right? I didn't invest properly. And the investments I did made, I borrowed too much money and they were short-term investments. So when the market crashed, I lost everything. So I learned my lessons from that moment of how to invest. And now I'm in a situation where I only have one house. It's paid for. I'm not borrowing a bunch of money to buy a bunch of properties on a short, short term investments, right? I, I am borrowing money, but I'm borrowing money against long term investments. So there's two parts of this. There's the fact that you have to learn how to save money. You have to learn how to live way below your means, right? And also learn that happiness doesn't come from hitting those goals. Yeah, you can be really happy when you hit that goal. I'm not saying don't celebrate. Hell, you know, I'm celebrating every day because my happiness comes from the effort that I put in on a daily basis. So let's talk about the progression of my income over the years, okay? When I got in the business, I made 20,000 my first year, okay? My second year, I made about 100, and then third and fourth year, made 150 a year. Now, I know everybody says, well, I thought you made a million dollars. Yes, because I was flipping properties on top of this. Right, I was flipping properties on top of this and I had a million dollars saved up, okay? Um, what did I do? I reinvested it into more property, borrowed more money, I had a million and a half worth of debt, and then the market crashed, lost everything. Okay, so 2005, I didn't sell any properties. 2006 and seven, I didn't sell any properties. 2008, I got back in the business. That was after I read 100 books and studied the market and really kind of figured some things out about relationships over transactions. 2008, I made $80,000 and I was ecstatic to be back in the business off the oil rig where I was making 40,000 to double that doing real estate. I was so happy at that point, right? And it wasn't that I wasn't happy before, it was just that I was happy with the fact that I knew that what I had learned through the crash was working. 2009, I made 100,000. 2010, 150, and that was the year during the oil spill. It was a down market, a mini recession, you know, everybody was running for the hills, and I made 50% more money that year. 2012, I doubled it, I was at 300,000. 2013, I was at 450, right? 2014, I was just a little bit higher than that, it was like right at 500,000. Okay, and then 2015 and 16, I made 600,000 and then I made 750. Okay, and then 2017 was the first year that I broke a million. I did 1 million 60. Last year I did 1 million 12. And this year so far I'm at 512. So that's kind of the progression of it. That kind of gives you the whole story of you know the ups and downs of the market and everything I went through. So I hope this video helps you out a lot. Just hear a little bit about my journey and the hardships I had to go through and the lessons I had to learn to get where I am. This business is not easy, but it's so worth it. So just continue to put the work in. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. Please subscribe to this channel. Shoot me a comment. Let me know what video you want me to make next. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.